So one of the most famous games is the Prisoner's Dilemma, and uh, so let's study it and see what solutions we can find for it. So we have Alice and Bob. The actions are usually called cooperate. Uh, so co-op for cooperate and defect. Cooperate and defect, and same for Bob here. Let's put those in red. Um, so Bob can also cooperate or defect. And uh, by cooperate, I mean cooperating with the other person. So Bob cooperates with Alice. Alice cooperates with Bob or defects on him. And the payoffs are as follows. Uh, three, five, uh, zero, one, and uh, kind of similarly for Bob. Three, zero, five, and uh, one. So the story goes as follows. Alice and Bob might or might not have committed a crime and they got caught by the police who have brought them in, but police don't really have a lot of evidence, right? They're kind of hoping that one of them uh, or both of them will confess, so they take Alice and Bob, put them in separate rooms, and here's the policeman, and uh, make him a deal. Maybe you've seen this on cop shows. Uh, so the policeman tells Alice, okay, uh, you can either, you know, confess, tell us that you did it, or, or not, and, you know, you take your chances. I know Alice knows that the police don't have a lot of evidence, so she knows that if they both of them uh, cooperate with each other, right, so basically don't tell on each other, they cooperate with each other, they can get out fairly, you know, scathing free, they're still going to, I guess, serve some time or whatever, uh, but they have utility of three for each other, right? So if they both cooperate. However, uh, say Alice uh, decides to uh, tell on Bob, uh, but Bob doesn't tell on Alice, then Bob uh, wins out, right? So if Alice decides to cooperate, uh, but Bob defects, right? So we're here at zero five. That means Bob, by defecting, he, you know, breaks their trust deal between both of them. Uh, he, he actually wins. He gets five and she gets zero. But if they both defect, so they both tell on each other, and they're both going to go to jail, right? And uh, so that's uh, going to be a one and one for each other. It's a little bit better than zero, uh, but not by much, right? Uh, so that's the story. That's the prisoner's dilemma. So let's look at that. Uh, let's first find what, what's the social welfare solution for this. So if you remember, uh, the social welfare solution is the one that maximizes the sum of everybody's utility. So to do that, you just go through each box, add both numbers. 3 plus 3 is 6. 5, 5, 2. So 6 is... Uh, so cooperate, cooperate is the social welfare solution uh, for the prisoner's dilemma. Right? So that's... It's kind of like, you know, what you would want, right? And uh, most of the cop movies, that's uh, sort of what you expect to see. Both of them keep their mouth shut. Uh, now let's look at uh, Pareto Optimal. What are the uh, Pareto Optimal solution for this game? So remember a Pareto Optimal solution is one such that there is no other solution where one does better and nobody does worse. Uh, so if you look at 3-3, uh, three, three, is that a Pareto Optimal solution? Uh, well, is there one where one does better and nobody does worse? So if you look at 3-3, three, three, you know, like if you go down here, this guy's going to do worse, and down here, this guy's going to do worse, and down here, both of them do worse. So 3-3, uh, three, three, or Cooper Copper, is a Pareto Optimal solution. Uh, but, uh, and uh, what about this one, 0-5? Is there another one, if you play Copper Defect, is there another solution where one does better and, and nobody does worse? At least one does better. So if we go over here, uh, you know, this guy, Alice, does better. But uh, Bob goes from 5 to 3. And we go down. So that's not going to be it. Uh, if we don't go down here, uh, both of them, well, this one does worse. So that's going to be it. If we go down here, uh, Bob is going to go from 5 to 0. So that's not going to be worse. Uh, so, so corporate defect is also 
uh, a Pareto optimal solution. There is no other one where one does better and nobody does worse, uh, which is, I think, surprising for a lot of people. And similarly, the fact cooperate, of course, because they're just similar. Uh, this one down here, there is no other solution where one does better and nobody does worse. Uh, but look at this one down here. Is there one? Is there another solution where one does better and nobody does worse? And sure enough, it's this one right here, right? So actually, both of them do better. Nobody does worse. So this is not a product optimal solution. Only these three. So you have one social welfare solution, three Pareto optimal solutions, and uh, so we have those two. Uh, now uh, we can look at the Nash equilibrium uh, is there a solution uh, is there a Nash equilibrium solution or more to this game so let's look at this one one the defect defect starting down here if Bob is defecting what what is Alice's best response uh, well it is also to defect right because if Bob defects Alice is looking at either zero or one so she's gonna go for the one so defect, and similarly, if Alice is defecting, then Bob is looking at either zero or one, this zero and this one. So Bob's also going to defect. So yes, indeed, defect, defect is a Nash equilibrium solution. Uh, and uh, let's look at uh, then uh, cooperate defect. Is that Nash equilibrium? Well, if Bob defects, uh, as we showed, as we just said, Alice is going to want to defect also. So that defect, defect, cooperate, defect is not a Nash equilibrium, and neither is this one down here. By the same reasoning, uh, what about the cooperate, cooperate? Is that Nash equilibrium? So if Bob cooperates, uh, Alice is looking at either three or five, right? So if Bob's cooperating, then Alice is like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, if he cooperates, I can defect and get five. So cooperate, cooperate is not a Nash equilibrium. So the only Nash equilibrium is DD, right? Um, so that's interesting, right? So the only Nash equilibrium is DD, defect, defect, one, one, while the social welfare solution CC is up here. Uh, so in the Pareto ones, and the Nash equilibrium is not even a Pareto optimal solution. And that's kind of why this game is very interesting, because you have this Nash equilibrium that is uh, really where everybody ends up at. And also, I'll note um, dominant strategies, because uh, this game does have dominant strategies. If you look at Alice, uh, she can either get five or one, and one or three or zero. So five is bigger than three. So one and one is bigger than zero. So Alice's dominant strategy is clearly to defect. And the same for Bob, right? Bob can either get three or zero or five or one. So clearly five is bigger than three, one is bigger than zero. Bob is going to defect. So DD is a dominant strategy for both of them, which, you know, kind of makes it the Nash equilibrium also. Um, so, okay. So that's part of the interesting thing about the state of the prisoner's dilemma. You have this dominant, dominant, strategy, which is defect, defect, and uh, game theories will tell you that if you're faced with this problem, you should defect, uh, but sort of, you know, common sense or social welfare, higher ideals, whatever you want to think about it, tells you that, you know, hey, we could be over here where we're both doing better if we just, you know, just didn't, uh, didn't want to defect, if we just weren't being so rational all the time, uh, we could be over here. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is a total of six payoffs, and this is a total of two payoffs. Um, so that's the prisoner's dilemma.